Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Although Dumaguete is overflowing with beautiful women, it's one of the most difficult places in the Philippines to meet a woman boots on the ground. I'm talking about a woman from Dumaguete. Here's just a few of my observations. Remember, this is my humble opinion of going to Dumaguete on and off since 2010. One of the things I notice when I meet couples in Dumaguete that live there is the woman's not from Dumaguete. She's usually from some nearby province or city or even another island. You know, when I met my buddy Jack and his beautiful wife Jai, she's from Cebu. And I just found that strange, not about her, but about all the couples that I met. Now the women were from Dumaguete. But of course, you know, there's men who are dating and even married to women from Dumaguete, but 99 times out of 100, they met online. You know, Dumaguete is a different beast. The citizens, they show a sophistication that I don't see anywhere else in the Philippines, especially for a city that size. Okay, but it's also a college town, and the flagship college is Silliman College, and with colleges bring young women and young men, and that's the problem. There's enough young men there to keep the young women busy, so she shows very little interest in us, you know, foreigners, I mean. A lot of these young ladies, man, they have a bright future. I always talk about that. They're not on the dating sites. They're not asking to be introduced to a foreigner. And they're not looking for a come up because a lot of them come from well-to-do families anyway. And it would be lowering their standards in their eyes, okay, by dating us. And, of course, anywhere you go in the Philippines... There are some barriers to meeting women boots on the ground. It usually has something to do with them being shy and bashful, but also being em embarrassed for you to be, you know, talking to them out in public like that. I remember maybe a couple of weeks ago, I was on the plaza. I was doing that game show, Are You Smarter Than a Grade 5 Student? I was talking to a friend of mine, and I said, you know, I've been in San Carlos City almost five years, and people seem like they're afraid of me. I don't get it. And he said, Calvin, he said, I was talking to a priest, and the priest said the reason that they won't talk to you is because they think they're better than you. And it kind of caught me off guard. I never, that never came to my mind. I, I was never given that impression. And remember, that's what he said. But Dumaguete... It's one of the most difficult places in all the Philippines to meet a woman from Dumaguete. And I'm going to tell you, when you go there, one thing you're going to notice, it's overflowing with beautiful women. Most of them college women and professionals. You're going to see them driving new cars and men driving new trucks. There's just a sophistication there that you don't see anywhere else, especially in a town that size. But I'm not just going to pick on Dumaguete. There's a few other places that I found where it's difficult to meet women boots on the ground. Zamboanga City is one place. Now, my wife is from Zamboanga City. But remember, I didn't meet her there, boots on the ground. I met her online, and I flew her out to Cebu. We actually met in Cebu. But Zamboanga is a difficult place to meet women because... The women don't have a lot of experience with foreigners. And there are some army and military foreigners in Zamboanga. But for the most part, when you go there, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. So when you go to speak to them, there's a wide communication gap. I mean, even when I'm just there visiting my son when he was there, I have a hard time going when I'm at the store or anything, when I talk to them, they can't understand me. I mean, they really think that I'm slang, which I am to them because they speak proper English when they speak it. 
Most of the people in Zamboanga speak Chavacano and a mix of Basaya and Cebuano. But it's hard. It makes it hard on top of all the other things that I've already talked about to meet a woman boots on the ground. And then the way it's designed, if you ever go to Zamboanga, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now that they've put these two big gigantic malls right in close proximity to each other, I mean, traffic is a beast. It's always just crowds and crowds of people everywhere in that city proper. So you're not going to be able to really engage in any type of conversation. And certainly one of the worst places to meet any woman anywhere in the Philippines is in the mall, even though that's where they are. So the neighborhoods in Zamboanga, the way it's designed, they're off the street. Okay, where I was staying in a place called Riverville, you have to walk. I'm, I'm literally talking, this is true, from the street. You, you turn into like the little pathway and you had to walk about two blocks through a maze of sidewalk and dirt roads just to get back to where we were living. So it's kind of hard and, and there'd be hundreds of people back there. Women, men, you know, families and everything. But that's how the design was and it made it so difficult really to meet any, anybody boots on the ground. You know, people will tell you, hey, go to the mall. That's where you find the women. Guys, I'm telling you, it's one of the most difficult places. It's loud. It's crowded. They're not going to want to talk to you there. I mean, you have to literally be a Justin Bieber type or something like that. I mean, to really stand out. And you're talking about the typical foreigner, 62 years old, not in the best shape of his life. Eye bags, like, like I got eye bags. You know, we're really not looking like a 10 to begin with. You know, everybody says, oh, don't leave with your wallet. Well, hell, you ain't got no choice over here a lot of times. I mean, that's, I'm just being honest. But it's a lot of delusion going around. I try to put out videos that's, that's going to kind of help us to stay in touch with reality and to just have a better outcome over here. But Dumaguete, number one, Zamboanga City, number two. Now, some of the easiest places I've ever been to meet women is Cebu. Number one is Cebu because the people are just so friendly. And when I was living in to Cebu, living in Cebu, I'm sorry. Uh, whenever I go to Cebu now, it's more wide open. It's not as congested as Duma, I mean, as Manila. Now, I'm not talking about Lapu Lapu. That's a whole different story. That's another reason why it's easy. There's just so many women in close proximity to you. And I remember I was telling my buddy Smiley that we were there uh, Christmas of 2022 on into the New Year's of 2023. And we went to get our nails and a, pe a, ma a manicure and a pedicure. Well, I was telling him this before we left out. I said, this is such an easy place to meet women because it's just so many of them in a the close proximity. And man, just from the, we walk from the Airbnb to the salon. And I know we met 20 women at least. And they're just friendly. And you can easily meet a woman there. And of course, Manila is easy too because just the vast numbers of women there are in Manila. And even though they're not, they're coming from all over the Philippines, the numbers are going to be in your favor. The odds are going to be in your favor. But Dumaguete's always in the news. That's why I wanted to talk about it. That's why I put it excuse me, in my title. Because when you go to Dumaguete, guys, you're not going to meet a woman from Dumaguete. She's going to be and came from somewhere else. And for a city that small and that size, it's just so ironic, man. Even though it's the capital city of Negros Oriental, doesn't mean anything. Most of those couples you meet there, watch, do it if you're there already. 
ask the man, say, where's your wife from, a girlfriend, a fiance? He's going to say, Sabu, Manila, what, buy a wine, uh, Shotton, uh, one of those places. He's never going to say Dumaguete because it's one of the most difficult places in all the Philippines to meet a woman. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. Truly grateful. If you're in America, it's getting late for you let your head at the pillow. Please find somebody to help. If you're on them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, see somebody out in the street or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's early. Now day goes by that I don't help somebody. We're going to meet a couple today. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're going to buy us lunch. And we're going to chop it up. He sent me an email. He's going to help me today. But if I don't know anything else, I'll know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. We were at the Swimming Pool Migs Resort. This is where I have my meet and greets. And if we decide to have one this month, because they're doing some construction, this is where it's going to be. I'll put all the information out there. But go ahead and enjoy the last minute or so in Meg's Beach Resort, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>